The topic of this video is why many home sellers really don't like home inspection contingent offers. Now, the first reason is pretty obvious. If they get an offer with a home inspection contingency and somebody does an inspection, it's entirely likely that that buyer will come back with a list of demands for repairs to be made, which the seller may have no interest in doing, or a request for a credit, which again, the seller may not want. Because if the seller signs an offer for $800,000, he doesn't want to wonder if a buyer is going to come back and say, well, I want a $20,000 credit for something. The other reason though, that's a little bit less obvious is that the way the Pennsylvania Agreement of Sale reads, it says that if a buyer does an inspection and is quote, not satisfied, unquote, that buyer can terminate the agreement and get all of his deposit money back. So buyers are sometimes still looking at other properties even once they go under contract. And that's what the seller is trying to avoid. What the seller does not want is for the deal to fall apart and not be able to keep any of the buyer's money if the buyer just decides they like another house better. So if you are a buyer that does not have an inspection contingency, once the seller signs that offer, the seller knows that at least as far as the house goes, inspections or anything like that, that offer's not changing. Now the deal could potentially fall apart if there's a mortgage contingency, if something doesn't appraise, but the seller doesn't have to worry about the number being chipped away at because somebody's having an inspection or that someone will just choose to walk away because they have the inspection period of time that they can use to do that. 